my name is Eugenia Curry. I live at 360 Balcom Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10465. The lady down in the basin really need help, but apparently her family don't care about her. Um, you know, she, she comes to one of the family that she can do so much evil. They actually help her get out of the evil, but don't realize that they're putting her deeper in the evil, but enough about white trash. Anyway, uh, this goes out to the cops. See, my theory is this is still a human right issue. Okay, is it possible that Hanan Toba, the Muslim woman, not because she's a terrorist or nothing like that, is it possible that the cops were actually listening to her because she was upset that Megan put her in the hospital using cops and she wanted to get back at everyone? And I'm assuming if she wants to get back at everyone, wouldn't she want to get back at the cops? Because all these strange things happening with the cops of me going in and out of the cops, never been on handcuffs. This is the funny part. I have to tell you the story. It was actually a South Asian woman that was Muslim that works for Pibley that told the cops to put me in handcuffs. Really? And I told the cops, wait a minute, New York City law says that if I'm not doing anything wrong, that you can't put me in a mental hospital. He said to me, you're refusing, now I have to put you in handcuffs. Because I'm refusing and I'm just sitting on the bed. I was literally sitting on the bed. And they put me on handcuffs. So they violated every law. Now I'm kind of confused. Everything dealing with the cops, in and out of the hospital with the cops. Everything with the cops. Cops, 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 cops. Is it possible that Hanan... My ex-roommate is actually telling the cops and the staff what to do and they are not aware of it. Just something to think about.